Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be talking about the one big thing that most players never noticed during the mission where Arthur is captured by the O'Driscolls. Now this mission is officially called Blessed Are the Peacemakers, which occurs in Chapter 3 when the gang is at Clement's Point. And even the beginning of this mission is a little bit weird, because it involves Pearson talking to O'Driscolls which seems pretty strange. This is how the mission actually starts. Okay. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. well that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly, but you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, now somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. You've gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. A long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. So everyone is pretty suspicious about this. They are suspecting a trap. And Micah asks Arthur to observe an arranged meeting between Dutch and Como Driscoll from afar. And by now, I'm sure you guys know what happens during this mission. Essentially, the meetup between Dutch, Micah, Colm, and his boys is basically a setup in order to capture Arthur Morgan. And the entire meeting itself is basically a sham. We do get some backstory on like Como Driscoll and Dutch and their weird relationship involving like, you know, Combs' brother and Annabelle, who used to be Dutch's lover. So the mission itself does provide some cool backstory as far as that goes. But then we know what happens. Arthur is ambushed and captured. I don't know. Column's got a sense. Handing him over to the lords. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. <laughs> the whole lot of them. <clears throat> With this fella, Column's right. He's escaping and shoot him. Relax. Relax. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Did I kill you? No, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Arthur Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Now, tell me, fine gun like you, 
Why are you still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Cole. No, no. Uh, it's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed uh, a whole bunch of my boys. Uh, Six point cat. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Cole. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sword. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? <laughs> of course. He's gonna be so mad. He gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Uh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> So as you guys know, Arthur, even though he was wounded, tortured, and imprisoned, is able to escape and returns back to the gang's campsite. And this is where things get really weird. And during this mission, I found it kind of odd that no one from the gang came to rescue Arthur. Like, I feel like if Arthur went missing, Dutch and the higher-ups in the gang would have done anything possible to get him back. But no one comes to his rescue. And again, when he returns back to the camp, something even weirder occurs. Arthur! Arthur? Arthur! I told you it was just up, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. But I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, Dutch. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. So when Arthur got home, Dutch was basically saying things like, wait, what happened? And doesn't that go completely against what they were supposed to do after the meeting where Arthur was supposed to meet up with Dutch and Micah? Remember, after the encounter with Dutch and Colm, they were supposed to meet back up in the fork in the road. So after that encounter happens, we don't get to see it. But I'm assuming Dutch and Micah go their own separate ways. It's pretty weird they didn't look for him immediately when he didn't show. I'm pretty sure they would have been super concerned. Now, the only thing you could say here is that Arthur was known for going off by himself for weeks at a time. So it wouldn't be totally out of character for Arthur to disappear for a couple of weeks. But what is weird is for him to disappear after a mission where he was supposed to be their lookout. Now, another theory with this mission is that Arthur was actually supposed to be a peace offering to the O'Driscolls and that Micah offered up Arthur to secure the peace and then either didn't tell Dutch about it until after the meeting or Dutch was in on it the entire time. And they didn't go looking for you because you were handed over as part of the agreement. It also seems a little bit strange how the O'Driscolls seemed to know exactly where Arthur Morgan would be 
during this encounter. And just the other day, I actually discovered some secret dialogue that Dutch and Micah will say to Arthur after that mission happens, where they basically explain from their perspective what happened during the mission and what they were thinking when Arthur didn't show up. Listen, Morgan, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I thought they would shoot me, not you. What happened? Yeah, the whole thing was odd. I kept waiting for, for them to jump us, and then they left, and we assumed we'd meet you on the trail back. You never showed up. No. I was getting special guest treatment from Como Driscoll. Uh, so I heard. I'm sorry. One time I, I, I try to be wise and careful and make a goddamn fool of myself. That'll teach me. Arthur. If you feel up to it, Bill's got something cooking with the Gray Boys and Rhodes. John and Mike are in. I'd like you to be there, too. Sure. And, son? I'm sorry. I feel like a fool. I'm alive. Yeah, well, it seemed like a good opportunity. Micah and I both feel like idiots. What happened to you? Well, the whole thing, it was, it was odd. We kept waiting for them to jump us, and then they all left. So we figured we'd meet you on the trail back, but you never showed up. Yeah, I was getting a special guest treatment from Cole. I know, I know, I cannot believe what an idiot I was, and then that happened. I guess, forgiveness? There's some folks that don't deserve it. So again, to me, all of this is really weird. It's kind of like when Arthur didn't show up at the meeting point, they were just like, hmm, I guess Arthur's out on his own. No need to worry about him. He'll show up whenever. It kind of just seems like they completely forgot about him. So that's why I believe this mission is incredibly weird or there's some like cut part of it that is either missing or that Rockstar just decided not to include. So honestly, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. What do you think of this mission, Blessed Are the Peacemakers? Do you think there's something missing here? Do you think that this was the turning point of Dutch and Micah, them actually working together to get rid of Arthur? And that he actually wanted the O'Driscolls to sort of take him in, torture him, kill him, and Arthur escaping was sort of an accident? Uh, again, let me know what you're thinking in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But, of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.